One thing that definitely worked during distance learning was sort of having outside of the classroom activities. So for example, one thing that Westchester did a lot is we had a few game days over Zoom during lunch or whatever. And those were super successful. It got really great feedback from both students and teachers who were involved. One thing that I think all teachers can start doing or continue doing if they're already doing is um, continue to make themselves available or make it easier for students to reach out to them and ask questions because I found myself not wanting to ask a question in a Zoom class or find it a little awkward to email a teacher. So just continuing to make themselves available to answer questions because I feel that will help students be successful. What I like about being online with my classmates is the opportunity to interact with them on Zoom. When my teacher sends us into breakout rooms, it gives me a chance to talk to my classmates about school subjects, which I really enjoy because I haven't seen them for many months. I really appreciated when teachers did stops for understanding to ask questions because I think other times um, when you just talk for an entire 45 minutes for an hour, however long that may be, I think it really gets lost. Uh, what we're doing, I feel like kids are more likely to tune out the Zoom. It's really easy to do that. So checks for understanding keeps kids accountable and like in their seats paying attention. One issue that I had during online learning was getting the motivation to do my assignments um, as a senior, but I think also just as someone who's used to being in class and interacting with the teacher and, you know, being able to ask a friend, um, you know, what, what exactly did we have to do for this or how do we access this assignment? Um, not having that as available um, definitely made it less motivating to do assignments and also just harder. And another challenge is finding it difficult to create relationships with classmates and teachers because um, it's hard to develop those personal relationships when sitting in front of a laptop. I think disorganization is like the enemy of online school and when I talk about that I mean like when I as a student go to the material section of a um, of a class and I see like a bunch of random posts, a bunch of random articles, a bunch of random assignments, tests, assign like um, different things. I get very stressed and I don't know what I'm doing first. And other classes have very organized week by week folders. And I just know that, okay, we're in the 15th week. I have to click week 15 and submit those things this week. It's very helpful. It's very clear. It's very um, conducive to online learning because it keeps everything in order. One major thing I think that teachers can do differently come the spring semester is turn the chat on in the class, um, in the Zoom room. The reason I say that is because that really is the best way for students to be able to be heard and sort of like get to know each other. Another thing the teachers can do differently is sort of giving the students sort of, um, giving them surveys every now and then just to sort of see like how the teacher is doing, how they can improve, how they feel about the workload, just things like that because I feel like that really is the best way to improve the um to improve your classroom environment and make this experience as bearable for everyone as possible. And another thing was that my teachers were finding new platforms such as Kahoot to keep us engaged during class and I feel like sitting in on Zoom is different from being in a classroom. So finding those new ways to keep students engaged worked really well. To only use like maybe two or three websites at most to assign either homework or in-class assignments on um, because some of my teachers, and I know that they have a reason for it because there are a lot of cool websites out there, but um, when you have so many different websites that you have to log into for to do an assignment or to do your homework, it can get really confusing. So just limiting the amount of websites that we have to go on um, would make it a lot more simple for the student. The response time or having an opportunity to ask more questions for students will be beneficial. The email response time sometimes takes longer than expected and that can cause some issues. So having like discussion forums or areas for students to ask questions and receive help from other students on like homework or clarifying blessing could be very helpful. Or incorporate more of would be student group projects, um, which kind of promotes more student social interaction, which I feel like we're definitely lacking. Or um, uh, one thing that I found works with my teachers are group discussions that are like relevant to us as students. Um, and that gets a lot of participation when we're talking about interesting subjects that relate both to the subject at hand and students.